2015-2017 BMW R1200 RS. BMW launched its newest sport tour model, the R1200 RS in 2015, and the model is a direct carryover into the 17 model year with some upgraded goodies last year and this year. Beamer combined the top-shelf automatic stability control, optional electronic suspension adjustment, dynamic traction control and variable power delivery modes with a rather sporty platform, both in form and performance. The 1170cc, twin-cylinder boxer engine delivers power numbers that would embarrass many pure sport bikes and drives the RS into the realm of high-speed, long-distance riders. Beamer's RS series has always been about touring comfort since the original brought its fixed fiberglass fairing to the market back in 1976 with the R100 RS, and this newest incarnation toes the family line with touristic features that should take the edge off the longer jaunts. Join me while I take a look at the newest generation of this venerable line. Continue reading for my review of the BMW R1200 RS. I gotta say, the sport aspect of the design is certainly more apparent than the tour aspect, at least at a glance. The sporty front fairing mounts something more like a proper windshield than the usual speed screen, fly screen we see on straight up sport bikes, but beyond that the looks are fairly sport typical with upper lines that tumble down the fuel tank to the deep scoop seat before hopping up to the tapered tail. All very street bikeish and I have to gig Beamer for the lack of stock baggage. Yeah, I know touring means different things to different people, but for most Americans the word carries the expectation of some sort of cargo capacity. Granted, a traipse through the accessories catalog is enough to cover any shortfall in the equipment department, but to me anything with tour anywhere in the name or category should come with stock bags. Beyond that, the rider triangle allows for an upright and relaxed riding position with room to lean forward into a sportier stance. Overall, the bike isn't as stodgy as one might imagine, and it carries itself with a bit of grace while stopping well short of any gratuitous flash and flare. One thing is for certain, the 32.2-inch seat height is going to be a trifle tall for shorter riders. Beamer uses a bridge-type frame made of tubular steel members as the foundation with a stress tension arrangement that uses the mill to replace part of the frame structure. This lightens the frame and lowers the engine mass to keep center of gravity close to the ground. The single side swing ga urn pulls double duty as a housing for the drive shaft, which is an arrangement that keeps the rear end of the running gear nice and clean, if not simple. Built for precision handling and braking rigidity, the frame shows its super bike roots. Steering head angle is set at 62.3 degrees according to the factory, but Americans will call it 27.7 degrees because reasons with 4.5 inches of trail. No matter what you call it, the steering is set up for relatively stable, straight line travel, even at high speed, without sacrificing too much in the corners. Now for the top shelf suspension. A pair of 45mm forks buoy the front end, and run in the Ust configuration that has great torsional resistance and lateral stiffness for a rock solid front end. The swing ga urn works with a wad strut that comes with a handwheel preload adjuster and adjustable rebound damping, and components at both ends give up 5.5 inches of suspension travel at the axle. Honestly. The non-adjustable front end is a bit surprising, somehow I expected Beamer to at least throw on some adjustable parameters, even on the stock model. At least the factory offers the option of upgrading to the Dynamic Electronic Suspension Adjustment, ESA, that comes with two separate damping presets that reads the conditions and electrically adjusts the suspension accordingly. Sort of a set it and forget it system that totally precludes the need for tools or hand wheels. Dual, 320mm front brake discs work with four pot, opposed piston calipers to slow the front wheel, and a single, 276mm disc and twin pot caliper binds the rear. BMW's own integral ABS provides over brake protection, and can be turned off if you want the feel of standard brakes or maybe just want to do some burnouts. 
The driving force behind the R1200RS comes from the flat twin boxer engine that is so typical of the brand. Dual overhead cams actuate the four valve heads, and the engine dumps waste heat through a combination of air and liquid cooling. Massively over square, the 101mm bore and 73mm stroke add up to 1170cc total displacement, and the power figures are about what one would expect. 125 horsepower at 7,750 revolutions per minute and 92 pound-feet of torque at 6,500 revolutions per minute. A ride-by-wire system manages the electronic fuel injection and enables the use of a number of features. On the stock model, the ABS wheel speed sensors feed data to the automatic stability control that functions like traction control in that it modulates engine output as needed to preserve the contact patch integrity. The stock bike also comes with two riding modes that deliver power on different curves. You can upgrade this function with Ride Modes Pro that adds two more engine control profiles, to include a user programmable one, and a lean angle sensing, dynamic traction control. Included in the Ride Modes Pro for 2017 is corner optimized ABS in the form of 5AC ABS. This system cranks out a decent 57 miles per gallon at 55 miles per hour, which is respectable to be sure, but the 12.5 to 1 compression ratio sets you up for premium gas pain. Power flows through a 6 speed transmixer that uses constant mesh. Helical cut gears to quietly crunch the ratios. MSRP for 2017 starts at $14,995. In 2016, the bike is available shot in lupin blue, light gray metallic or granite gray metallic matte. Gotta say they ain't the most inspiring color combinations I've ever seen, but I suppose there is a certain dignity to be had with subdued paint packages. Light Grey Metallic, Magellan Grey Metallic Matte replaces Granite Grey Metallic Matte for 2017 and is only offered with the 861 Style 1 package. Given the sport-tastic looks and power delivery, I knew I'd need something other than an American tour bike for my head-to-head, -head, and the Concour 14 ABS from Kawasaki fit the bill nicely. Although a bit more full-paneled with an almost futuristic panache, the Concour falls into the same sport tour mold as the Beamer, more or less. One notable difference would be the hard bags that come stock on the Concour and leave it the more tour worthy of the two right off the floor. Kai wins out a bit in the displacement department with a 1,352cc engine versus the 1,170cc Beamer plant. Predictably, the Kai's power figures bear this out with 153 horsepower and 100 pounds of grunt against the Beamer's 125 ponies and 92 pounds. Both bikes run six-speed transmissions and shaft drives, but the Kai lacks the quiet helical gears that the Beamer sports. Unlike the Beamer, the Concour comes with adjustable front forks, but Kai has nothing to compare to BMW's electronic suspension. ABS is present across the board, as are big, dual front brakes and larger than normal rear discs. The stock R1200RS rolls for $14,995, a bit cheaper than the stock Concour at $15,499. Sure, it's a bit more expensive, but the adjustable front end is a nice feature, and certainly hurts the checkbook less than the premium BMW package. I won't belabor the lack of baggage, though it is definitely an issue for me. In fact, the whole fast and loose attitude around categorizations is kind of wearisome. The details that turn this street bike into a tourer are really subtle, and even the name tourer loses meaning. I realize the word means different things to different people, but I just wish they would admit that we are right and do it our way. Wink, nudge. My wife and fellow motorcycle rider, Alan Hinton, says, I have to agree with my husband on the baggage thing. Calling a bike a tourer in the US market implies there is storage, but I guess if you're serious about touring, you might instead be looking at the R1200RT that comes with bags. 
The R1200RS is in BMW's sport bike category after all. Still, as the reincarnation of BMW's original sport tourer, it's a lightweight compared to the head-to-head -head pick of the Concours, and even though the power and torque numbers don't look as impressive on paper, that boxer engine delivers all through the rev range so it doesn't disappoint.